KISS historically has always made you use their own hardware. They've always had custom flight controllers, custom ACs and things like that. And they've only been available to buy from KISS directly. So this is the first flight controller that I know of that runs KISS firmware, but isn't made by KISS themselves, isn't made by Flyduino. It's actually made by iFlight. So it is fully licensed, so it's not like a cheap Chinese knockoff or anything. Uh, Flyduino are involved and they are overseeing the development of it. So that makes it interesting because I've always thought that KISS was a little bit too pricey. If you look at how much a KISS flight controller is and the fact that it doesn't come with an OSD and it doesn't have a power distribution either, it means that to get those things together, you'd be spending upwards of hundred pounds just for the flight controller and the OSD and the PDB. This is 35 pounds and it's an all-in-one. It has a PDB and an OSD on the same board. So that makes it quite a um, attractive proposition. I've always wanted to try KISS and instead of spending 80 pounds on a KISS V2 and then 40 pounds on a PDB, I thought for 35 pounds this would be a really good way to just to like get a feeling for KISS, just to have, it, have a decent idea of what it's all about. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this in uh, Scrappy, who's my rooster. He's been taken apart and had his uh, old Matek beta flight board removed. We're gonna put the, the KISS board on here and um, then take him out for a test flight and see if there's any sort of noticeable difference to beta flight. The other thing with KISS is uh, you have to use KISS ESCs. We don't have to, apparently you can use Bill Heli 32 ESCs, but then you're not really gonna get the full uh, KISS benefits, I guess you could say. So what I've done is I've brought four of these uh, 32 amp ESCs, these KISS ones, and the first thing I notice is they're massive. Um, don't have one handy. Okay, if you look at this, so this is Snow White, she's still using Bill Heli ESCs. So that's a GS30 amp Speedix, which is small, but it's, this is 32 amps, and it's, it's about a third extra on the size, which does mean that the, um, the ESCs are probably gonna stick out over these rooster arms. The rooster's not exactly a small, but for some reason these ESCs now don't actually fit comfortably over the arms. So they're gonna have a little bit of overhang. So yeah, the cost of switching to KISS is still kind of, it's not super cheap when you consider that you have to buy a full set of ESCs and the KISS ESC is about 25 quid. So it's 100 quid for the ESCs and then 35 for the flight controller uh, all in one with the OSD. So, all right, I'm gonna do it on one bird and see how it flies. If this rooster just miraculously just feels so much better, then I will probably do it on all my other all my other quads as well. But for now, let's uh, let's get cracking and let's solder up the, the board and get it installed. One, two, three. Where's the other one? Shit. I always lose things every every time I try and do anything. But you, you can see it on the video. Spot the hidden ESC. story time. I kind of fucked that up. I uh, think it's pretty obvious it's a different day. Uh, it's actually about a week later now. So what happened was I brought two of those uh, iFlight KISS um, flight controllers and I broke them both. I soldered them up wrong. I usually buy two because I think I'm always going to screw one up. But what I did is I accidentally soldered the the second one the same way because I was rushing so I just thought oh I must have buggered up something and then I just copied the pattern of the soldering so I think this is probably like a lesson here just always be 
uh, just double check your soldering because if you're anything like me you'll probably screw it up. Right so the plan is today we're going to go through the configuration and flashing and so we can take a look at the configurator, uh, set him up with the radio and all that stuff and we'll get an idea of how easy that is and then tomorrow uh, hopefully fingers crossed weather dependent we will be able to take him out for a maiden flight so that's the plan uh, so let's get going with the software okay. your kiss flight controller is not activated so that's interesting it's not something you have to do with beta flight i guess because they're not open source are they kiss kisses software weird though man all right so this is this is the setup. Uh, looks fairly straightforward. Definitely not as not as attractive as Beta Flight. Must admit, I think it is. I mean, it's fine. I just don't like these big white boxes on the dark background, but that's that's fine. Um, FR Sky S bus. That is what I want. Did it just know? Okay. Uh, preset user. Are you serious? It just has all of these pig things? What the hell? Okay. Well, I've got to find Johnny FPV. Um, I definitely want to fly like Johnny FPV. I know he flies Kiss. There we go. Perfect. Use those. <laughs> cool. Um, nice. Now I better fly like Johnny FPV. If not, this doesn't work. If it does, then Kiss is amazing. And maybe that's why everyone loves it, just because you can just share pids like that. That's pretty cool. There's Mr. Freeman. Here he is. Right. So this is already bound to this receiver, so this should just work. And it does! That's awesome. Alright, so Kiss is cool. It kind of, I don't know if it knew I was a fast guy, or it just put that because everyone uses that. But all the all these are set up correctly. Pitch, roll, throttle, you're perfect. So that is actually kind of cool because that kind of feels like this is set now. I don't really. That's where the, the keep it super simple thing comes in. Like there really is barely anything you have to do. That's impressive. Okay, I'll just test my LEDs. Red. Boom! LEDs work. Oh, I suppose you should probably have a look. Can you see? Yeah, the red at the back. So I like flying props out. Uh, and I see... Um, oh, rates as well. I'll change my rates. Uh, I'm guessing reverse your control direction is effectively props out. Because that would, would change the motors that are used for your... Um, rates. So I like a 900... Oh, if I... Okay, yeah, so you can see the rate. That's cool. So as you move the sticks, you actually see the position on the curve, which is quite nice. 2.5 still feels like a hell of a lot of expert. Is 1 the most? You can go over 1. <laughs> Holy shit, so it actually goes backwards. Would anyone fly like this? That could be a challenge. Fly with like over one expo. And so that when you first... Wow! Alright, cool. That's my race. That's it. Telemetry recovered. Alright, cool. I'm seeing a very noisy image. Uh, but... This all seems to be here. Not my call sign. Can you believe you have to do this like this? Okay, it's gonna take forever. Oh joy. Uh, I guess I'll be a minute. You can see there's these very strong black lines. And this is without any throttle yet. If I do arm up. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't really change. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. It's lovely that you get the telemetry for all of the ESCs though. So you can see their amps per ESC, the temperature. It's real nice. It's way too much information though. I really don't want any of that stuff there all the time. Okay, I think I'm probably pushing the VTX now. So we will go ahead and call it a day there. 
I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Maybe we can do it with this camera. So that's the initial setup. It seemed to go really smoothly. The configurator is good. The OSD is a bit of a pain in the ass. That's gonna take some work to kind of get it to look exactly how I want. But now we will cut to the field, I think. So let's probably see you tomorrow. Um, hopefully, at the earliest tomorrow, um, we were gonna go fly this guy. And I actually can't wait. All right, first pack on KISS ever. This should be fun. I'm excited. It's smooth, yes. It feels slower, like to turn. But it's all about that stick feel, right? And yeah, I gotta be honest. It just does what you want. Mm. Feels nice. I think I like it. Weirdly smooth. Look at those beautifully smooth rolls. I guess I'm kind of used to what Beta Flight was like which was where it was really uh, bouncy. Kind of like it was, Beta Flight felt like it was trying to predict what you were doing, and if you didn't do what it was what it was predicting, it would then have to sort of recorrect and jump. Whereas this feels like it's, it's so slow and smooth. Like it's just smooth, yeah, I can't really describe it as in smooth. Yeah, honestly that was cool. I'm quite impressed. Damn. I think I got kiss fever. <laughs> it's just so smooth. Damn. Honestly, that was super impressive. I'm a, I'm a convert. It's worth it, guys. <laughs> it's just something really weirdly... I don't know. It sounds cultish, but it's like, it's weirdly unexplainable. That'll call it a day. That was a good first impression of Kiss. I really enjoyed that, to be honest. Uh, there is definitely something about the stick feel I can't quite put my finger on. But we'll uh, get back to the house and we'll talk about it more then. So in summary, Kiss is amazing. That was definitely some of the smoothest sort of rolls and smoothest like exiting of turns that I felt on the on the sticks before. So they're definitely doing something different, and it is magical. I still do need to tune those oscillations out. I think that's a PID thing. I definitely just did it stuck. They're really chunky motors. They're 2306, 2550. So they're heavy. Uh, the quad is heavy. There's probably some things that I can do to improve that. But overall, yeah, I'm gonna go and buy another one. <laughs> I am. I think that was really cool. And so yes, I kiss. <laughs>